And we are learning more about an incident that happened earlier this week at the Bangor International Airport. A 35 year old woman from Florida was asked to get off her flight after TSA officers say they found some concerning objects in her luggage. Our Alex Haskell joins us this morning with the details and Alex, maybe a lesson for all of us on like what is and not allowed on a plane. <laughs> Good morning. Sharon, sure, absolutely. Good morning. So the situation happened around noon on Tuesday. The TSA was checking baggage as they usually do when officers detected some items one passenger thought was OK to fly with. As you can see here, two hand grenades were discovered. But don't worry, these replica explosives were just hollowed out paperweights. Although, although they posed no threat to anyone, items such as these are not allowed in carry on bags or in checked luggage. Daniel Velez is the New England region spokesperson for the TSA. He tells me discoveries such as these aren't common for them, but they do happen from time to time. Now, firearms are actually the most frequently found weapon in the bags of passengers. Since 2016, seven firearms have been found in the luggage of Bangor International Airport passengers, and 13 firearms have been detected in bags of Portland International Jetport passengers, according to the TSA. Now, Velez says being caught with items like these can come with a hefty price tag. Caught with a firearm, TSA may seek a penalty totaling more than $13,000. Fines for having a replica explosive can be anywhere from $690 to about $3,400. Our job is to make sure that we find them and they don't get on the aircraft. After that, it's up to local law enforcement. If you have any type of replica explosive, don't bring it. You're not going to be able to get through security, whether it's in your check bag or your carry on bag. Just leave it at home or find another way to get it back to where you're where you're going to. All right, a good reminder there. And as for the passenger with the replica explosives, she was questioned by Bangor police and was allowed to continue her flight after explaining she didn't know the items weren't allowed in checked baggage live in studio this morning. Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine.